So, it seems that you want to know how to start streaming on Twitch, you're in the right place. I will show you how to do that in just a few minutes. So, without further ado, let me see what uh, we need to start streaming on Twitch. First, if you haven't created an account already, you can go to Twitch and create your account. Next, you need a streaming software. There is a a few different streaming software that you can use for uh, streaming to different platforms, but uh, the most popular of them is OBS Studio. So you can just go to obsproject.com and download OBS Studio. Now I already have uh, OBS Studio, so I will start it and I will show you how to continue from there. Uh, when in you initially start OBS Studio, you will be presented a screen like this. Uh, we have several key features here, uh, which I will explain later. But at first, I want to show you the auto configuration wizard. Now, on the first startup, this uh, screen will uh, show initially, and you have a few options to select from. Since we'll be streaming on Twitch, uh, let's select the optimized for streaming and recording is secondary and click next. From the second screen on this wizard we can select the resolution that we want to stream in. Uh, I recommend not changing anything here because uh, OBS is smart enough to select the correct settings for you. And let's go to the next screen. Uh, on this screen we can select the streaming service that we want. Let's select Twitch and the recommended way is to connect your account to Twitch, so this is what I will do. When we click on connect uh, account, it will ask to uh, input your account credentials and log in to Twitch. Of course, security is important, so uh, if you haven't enabled uh, factor authentication, do so and use it in the future. So let me log in into my account. After that, OBS will ask to authorize uh, your Twitch account. And that's it for logging in. Let's go next. Now, OBS will perform a test to find the correct settings for your Twitch stream. Uh, this will configure the best resolution and FPS for your Twitch stream. Uh, since there is a lot of uh, settings that happen in the background, we will be not going through all of them in this video, but if you want me to have more detailed explanation how OBS is working and uh, how to set up these settings manually, let me know in the comments and I will do that. Okay, so it seems that uh, we are almost finished testing um, our stream setup. There's just a few more tests. Meanwhile, if uh, you find this video helpful, feel free to subscribe and uh, leave a comment below. Now, these settings will uh, depend on your computer and your upload speed. Now I have a good computer and very nice upload speed. So Twitch determined that I can stream in 1080p with 60 FPS and I will apply these settings. After applying, uh, OBS will load the chat and the stream settings. You can move these to the side and have a very nice clean view. And this is finishing the initial setup. The next thing that we need to do is actually create something to show on our Twitch stream. Now here comes the settings that I mentioned initially, scenes and sources. We will be adding a few sources and actually I want to add my display uh, so you can see that uh, we can capture a monitor or anything else that you want. 
and one thing that I want to show here is that my monitor is using uh, 4K resolution but I will be streaming in 1080p so initially not my full screen is visible and I will have to go here to the sources and actually transform this display to be uh, to fit inside the uh, the scene the visible area so I will select fit to screen you can see this is my full screen and I will show you one more capture here now by default uh, OBS found out that I have a additional microphone so in the audio mixer here there is a microphone setting but if uh, for some reason OBS doesn't find this for you you can add an additional audio output capture or uh, sorry audio input capture and you can select your microphone from this list now I don't need it uh, right now so I'll just remove it and I will start streaming by clicking the button on the right now I will go to my channel and you will be able to see that the stream will start and the stream will start and the stream I will be able to see my screen on the website. I will be able on the website. to see my screen on the website. Now there was a bit of echo there because uh, I could see my own voice on the stream. But basically that's all you need to start streaming initially. Of course you can customize the uh, stream any way that you want. You can add uh, images, more dis displays, you can add game capture, browser capture, whatever you need. You can even show your Twitch stream on uh, the screen. You just need to find the correct settings. Again, if you want me to show more detailed explanation, let me know and I will create a video about that. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.